Mr. Jim Rose and Tara, it's my absolute great pleasure to welcome you here to the Burlington Arcade once again. We are here to look at this trophy which has been passed here to um, Thomas Light by Chelsea Football Club and tonight the trophy moves on to the FA and will have a new home on Saturday if Wigan manage to upset the odds and win and will go to Manchester if Manchester City managed to lift the famous trophy. Well, each year, obviously, the, the FA actually, to their credit, let, let the club keep the actual cup, so that gets a year of, of going around being celebrated, not just on the day. And that's, therefore, going to get knocked and dropped and dented, and my job is to take those out. This year there was um, a reasonable amount of damage, I would say, quite some, quite some big creases in it, and it was almost square, so I think it was um, still treasured and, and, and much celebrated. We've managed to get it back to the uh, condition that everybody knows it in as the FA Cup. It's a fragile old thing now and uh, it's had lots of knocks and bumps and so it's getting thinner by the year. Each time we repair it the metal gets thinner and so we're, we're, we're at a very sort of precarious stage where when you're working on it it's just that feeling of you've got to be careful that you, you, you don't uh, get it to a point where it's beyond repair. One particular piece of damage to the cup this year um, came from Reverend and the Makers who uh, singing the FA Cup anthem. Uh, they actually dented the, I believe it was the lid. Oh, well, there's no surprises there because it's the most damaged part of the trophy with the lid. And that was, the, it's the usual thing of, usually hammers. I mean, silversmith, if you look at the word of smithing, it's actually using a hammer. So with the delicate bang here and there, we've tied together with about 40 years experience, uh, we're, we're able to bring that back into shape. It's a craft that I absolutely love being involved in and, and, and spent my life doing. West Ham is a, is a club I've spent my life supporting. I remember the days when West Ham did actually win it a few times. Um, I would love to have the opportunity to take some dents out for that they put in it, but that's not happened just yet, and I don't know if it will happen before I retire, but fingers crossed. Kevin, how do you see the game going on Saturday? It's unpredictable. Wigan are very, very unpredictable. Manchester City are obviously going into the game very heavy favourites, but I wouldn't rule Wigan out. I think um, they've played against some of the top teams over the last couple of years and outplayed them at times and won, won convincingly. Um, so I'm hoping that it's a very, very good final, but I just think that Wigan could surprise a few. The, the key players for them over the last month or two has been um, Callum McManaman and Sean Maloney. They've been the two main players for them. Kone has been coming into his own zone, playing really well up front. So I think maybe those three, certainly against Millwall in the semi-final, they were the three really key players, especially Maloney and McManaman. They won the game for them uh, for Wigan that day. So I think if they can get those two and th or three players in form, they'll be the ones that I think can go on and win it for Wigan if they are going to uh, proceed and win that game. To play in a cup final for, for a town like Wigan, a small town like Wigan, um, it's a wonderful fairy tale considering that 15, 20 years ago they were averaging 3,000 fans at Springfield Park. It's, it's just a wonderful story and that is what the FA Cup's all about. We want to see teams like Wigan progressing, going up through the leagues and then making a statement in the big cups and that's what they'll be looking through this weekend. You're looking at uh, a Wigan side that, uh, that plays some fantastic football. They've had that experience of playing against City at the Etihad already this season. And although it was a 1-0 victory to City, Wigan were the better team. It would be our only silverware this season. And with the uh, tumultuous expectations that we have now at City, um, all eyes are going to be on City uh, winning the cup again. So it's going to be a real challenge. But if we bring our best game, our A game, I think we'll have too much for Wigan. The excitement at the camp at the moment is, is incredible. You know, it's going to Wembley. It's the FA Cup final. You know, these are players that have come from all areas of the world that know how important it is, both for the club, for our legacy, but also for all the fans that, yes, we've experienced some success quite recently, but not that much. And they're so desperate to get their hands on this trophy. It was our first success in 35 years. And always the measure has been, or the benchmark has been our neighbours who have been so, so successful. And it's been a bitter pill to swallow over the years. So to be able to beat United in that semi-final and, and, and go to Wembley in the final and beat Stock City was an amazing, amazing day. As a died in the wall blue that I have seen and been part of the tumbleweed years over many a year, it's a special time for City fans and we're just enjoying every single moment.